Okay, so let's go ahead and do the key of E minor. Uh, so on this one, uh, on the top there it says the key of E minor is relative, uh, the relative minor to G major. So if we remember, remember our G major scale, we have that F sharp on there, and then when we play the minor uh, on the on the top right, it says uh, three half steps down will give us that minor. And that's kind of always the way that I've learned uh, growing up uh, as a student is to find the relative minor uh, is to, to play those three half steps down. So we're going to start with the G major and we play those three half steps. That E is going to be our uh, natural minor. So that's how you can find uh, any minor. If you're not quite sure where it is, you can always take those three half steps down. If we were in the key of C, again, three half steps down, we have that uh, A uh, minor. So on this one, uh, let's do number one, where it says play each scale and listen to the sound. We'll do our G major again. On that step number six, that's where we have our, uh, that's showing our E natural minor. Uh, so that one right there is where we're going to have our E, nat e uh, natural minor. So G major again, our E natural minor. Uh, let's go ahead and go to number two. So it says practice hands separately, the hands together. So we have our E natural minor. We're going to just follow those fingers there. One, two, three. Thumb goes underneath the A. One, two, three, four, five. Come back down. Four, three, two, one. Over the top with your number three. G. Okay, and then we have our left hand. We're going to do the same thing. Uh, finger numbers five, four, three, two, one. Over the top, using number three, two, one. Come back down. Two, three. Thumb goes underneath. And then we're going to play both hands together. Let's go ahead and do the number three. So E harmonic minor scale. It says, remember, for the harmonic minor, we're going to raise that seventh tone a half step. So this creates a half step uh, between the scale degrees seven and eight, the leading tone to the harmonic. So when we play that D sharp, our ear is sort of looking for that's kind of leading somewhere. Not quite sure. Oh, that's the tonic key. So that leading tone there, that creates in the ear that perception of like we're getting close to something and then we're arriving at that uh, tonic uh, key. So on number three, same fingering, oh, one, two, three, thumb goes underneath. And then we have that raised seventh, that's our leading tone to E. So. Okay, left hand, same thing. Leading tone, back down. Let's go ahead and do both hands. And that's our E harmonic minor. Let's go to the second page where it says primary chords in E minor. We have our one, we have our four, back to one. Five seven with our D sharp there. That's our leading tone, like we did when we played playing our scale. That D sharp is going to be down there. So we use our pinky stretch a little bit. D sharp, A, B, back to one. Then do right hand. Same thing. So when we put these together. Let's go to number five. So we have our Alberti bass. When we play the uh, a lot of classical music, you're going to see a lot of these kind of Alberti bass patterns. So this one is really good to make sure we know and we can play really well. Uh, we're going to start with the one position. We're going to go to the four. Back to one. Five seven, stretching that pinky to B, uh, D sharp. And we're, let's take the repeat. one it's a good this is a good technical exercise uh, ideally you should try and play these ones as fast as you can you'll when in classical music you'll be playing those a lot especially you know in like a Beethoven sonata or something uh, you, when you're playing these really fast so start slow build up the tempo go like a medium and then go fast so let's do like slow and then we'll play like a medium like a 
bass. And then we'll go to number six. So we have our challenge, two octave E minor scales. Let's do these uh, E natural minor, and then we'll do the harmonic minor. So on this one, we're gonna follow the fingerings. One, two, three, thumb underneath, A, B, C. And we're gonna do the natural one. So regular D natural, thumb underneath, thumb underneath. So, and then we'll take the repeat. harmonic so we're going to raise that uh, seventh uh, note there up to D sharp we're going to do the same thing with that left hand we do the natural first and then we'll go to the uh, harmonic seventh up to create that leading tone D sharp and then uh, I think those fingerings are fine the one three two one four that works great uh, also too playing those uh, slow medium and fast anytime that we have a scale also you know play those as fast as you can, start slow, making sure everything is under control, it's medium, and then, you know, play, really challenge your uh, muscles and hands to see how fast you can play those. And that's it. So E minor, kind of remembering that natural minor scale, harmonic, 